And as Keystone Kelly, you have your Billy Club. And you are going to smash Harry in the skull. Hey, and welcome to Open for Views. Today's game break is Keystone Capers for the Atari 2600. JWA the third. Have your game. Bought it off of eBay. Sorry, man. Sliding it into the Sears Telegames video arcade. And of course, I'm using the standard pack in. Activision game. So, with my video arcade, you got to be really precise with how it turns on. Perfect. First try. Keystone Capers is a game from 1983 released by Activision. It was programmed by Gary Kitchen, who was a workhorse back in the 80s. Did a lot of work, not just for Atari, but did work for Coleco as well. He's the guy behind the infamous Coleco port to the 2600 of Donkey Kong. You know the one I'm talking about, where Donkey Kong looks like a gingerbread man. But I would argue that's no fault of his. I would say he probably did the best he possibly could with what they knew at the time about the Atari. 2600, rather. But this game was ported to tons of stuff back then. He was even ported to the MSX in 1984. But you play as... Keystone Kelly, and you are chasing down Hooligan Harry. And as Keystone Kelly, you have your Billy Club, and you are going to smash Harry in the skull for committing some type of crime, I imagine. But you have your little escalators, you have your elevators in the middle, your little map, and you have your obstacles that you need to avoid. I always like the map. Sometimes there's little things you collect. Or this, like a bag of money. You're going to keep it. It's your points. But I was like the sun setting background. Oh man, it got bought by that. It always looked nice. Skyline right here. Oh, we've almost got him. Oh, we're going to jump on him. Got him. Brutalized the guy, I'm sure. Now we got to avoid shopping carts. I don't know what kind of store we're supposed to be in. Whether it is a... I imagine it's like a mall or a department store. But it could be like a, you know, a Toys R Us. Little airplanes flying at you. All those bags of money. Shopping carts. Okay, let's see if we can go up. Come on, up, not down. We're up. Jump over this. All right, we're going to get him. We're going to ruin Harry's day. Potentially his life. There he is. Oh, we got you. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, he's all the way back down at the bottom. See, I forget about that. I always forget that you can't go down the escalator. So, if we're lucky... Oh, it's right there. Come on. Come on. It's like waiting for an elevator in real life. While we're waiting, Gary Kitchen also... Oh, oh no. Whoops. <laughs> Gary Kitchen also released... Bart versus the Space Mutants for the NES. Another infamous game. Alright, let's go down. Let's do it this time. What did we get hit by? What was that? We, oh, we probably ran out of time. Alright. See, now i got to go chase him down again. This is awful. But the, this is an endless game. Controls are very tight. The jump feels nice. You can duck. It just keeps on going. The obstacles get a little crazier. The balls will start bouncing up really high. You have to duck under them instead of jumping over them. Airplanes will come and buzz you.
good old Keystone Caper. All right, here we go. We're going to jump on him again. Another successful day on the beat. <laughs> Keystone Caper. Duck under this airplane. I want to get buzzed. Look, we got buzzed. I was going to say not the good kind, but I mean, that, that could go either way. Here I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and play this all night. I better shut this down. <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> we were open before, but now we're closed. Beat it. 